Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lit Delight. Today we are going to see the literary devices used in Robert Frost's Fire and Ice. There are seven literary devices have been used in this poem. Assonance, alliteration, imagery, symbolism, anaphora, personification and enjambment. Let's see the first one, assonance. It is the repetition of vowel sounds in the same line. The repetition occurs at different place in different words. For example, the long sound of O in fourth line of stanza 1. I hold with those who favor fire. So the words hold and those are example of assonance. Now, let's move on to the next poetic device, alliteration. It is the repetition of a consonant sound at the start of two or more closely placed words. For example, the sound of if in favor and fire and the sound of if in world and will. So the words favor, fire and world, will are alliterated. Let's move on to the next poetic device, imagery. Imagery is used to make readers perceive things involving in their five senses. For example, look at these two sentences. Some say the world will end in fire and to say that for destruction ice is also great. So these two sentences are example for imagery. Now let's move on to the next poetic device symbolism. It is a use of symbols to signify ideas and qualities by giving them symbolic meanings different from their literal meanings. So the word fire is the symbol of desire, greed and lust and ice symbolizes coldness, hatred and rigidity. Now let's move on to the next one, anaphora. Anaphora is the repetition of a word or expression at the start of two or more consecutive lines. For example, the expression some say is repeated at the start of lines 1 and 2. And the next poetic device is personification. Personification is to give human qualities to inanimate objects. In this poem, fire and ice are capable of destruction. Thus, the poet personifies fire and ice by giving the mind and power to destroy anything. Now, the last poetic device, enjambment. It is defined as the thought or class that does not come to an end at a line break. Rather, it moves over to the next line. Look at these two sentences. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. There was a break between these two lines, but the thought doesn't come to an end. Now I'll, I'll add one more thing, dear viewers. Rhyme scheme. Stanza 1 has the rhyme scheme ABAA -A -A, and stanza 2 has the rhyme scheme ABAB. -A -B. So if you like this video, kindly subscribe it and share with your friends and let's meet with one another video. Thank you.